All right. Hey guys, what's going on? Electric X here, and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic with the second part, let's call it, of the uh, of the Electron build. Uh, so now, uh, last episode, which I made yesterday, I built this epic creation that I call the Electron. Now, um, now this is this is I, I told I said. I, I said in the description of yesterday's video that I, I needed to get this more refined. It turns out that it was pretty much as refined as it could be. I just needed to adjust the uh, the angle, the amount of angle that the roll and pitch controls gave. Um, because, but it really, either way, it's very hard to get in the air and actually um, fly it. It, it. it really just needs more space because the amount of speed from the propellers that it needs to get to actually be able to fly, um, you know, I could put a drag reducer block. I think I'm gonna do that. But the amount of, um, but the amount of, what was I saying? The amount of force. Yeah, but the amount of power and uh, speed from the engines that it needs to be able to fly is it was just too great. Um, for it to actually just be able to fly around in this small world so I'll try the reduced drag block and if that doesn't work you know what while I'm up here I'm just gonna paint the engine there we go alright let's just uh, back up here up and over that there we go perfect uh, but yeah the amount as I was saying the amount of force that it needs from the engines is too great for it to be able to small around, fly around in this small world because it doesn't have enough space so um, I hope maybe in um, when survival mode comes out, maybe they'll have bigger worlds. I'm not sure, but I kind of hope that's the case. Uh, so maybe if I'm able to, maybe if they have like bigger worlds for creative or whatever, maybe I'll be able to fly this around and actually use it uh, the way it's supposed to be used. So um, anyway, moving on into the actual like flying part of the video. Um, so to the controls, we have one and two are our, what are one and two again? Oh yeah, one and two tilt the rotors uh, forward and back. Uh, so one is one, and there's two, uh, and if I hit nine, it resets these rotors and the speed that it's at. As you can see, I have these little number panels here, where uh, if five and six increase and decrease the speed. So if I hold down five, it increases the speed of the engines, and if I hold down six, it decreases the speed. That was perfect. <laughs> so um, the, the roll and uh, pitch are WASD, so W will, uh, if I can just... So that's, that's W, that's S, you actually can't see the A and D controls working, but you can hear them. Oh, well, actually there's one in front. So there's, there's A and D. It's a little nuts, but okay. Um, but it's, but it's necessary, guys, okay? I guarantee it's necessary. So, uh, now, 4 actually activates the engines, but keep in mind that if you hit 4 and the engine speed is at 0, nothing is going to happen. So I just hit four, and uh, I actually need to hit five or six to actually get the propellers to move. So I'm gonna hold down five a little bit, and you'll notice that now that they're spinning, the engine power is at 1,600. Uh, so if I hold it up to 3,200, that is our that is the amount of that's when we get positive buoyancy. Now if I just tap six, it brings it down to 3,000. That's pretty much our neutral buoyancy point so I'll hit three to put in the landing gear uh, now you'll notice we are tilted slightly forward um, I think that's like I don't, I don't even know why that happens but um, this is my first time flying it with a reduced drag um, so yeah this is gonna be interesting uh, it does not have yaw just uh, just as a notice I guess it doesn't actually have yaw so that's uh, that's kind of a thing so um, the really tricky part is it's not getting it in the air, but it's actually getting it to transition from VTOL mode to actually flying mode. So, I mean, I'm just gonna get us up in the air a little bit more and uh, hold down S to try to pitch us back a little. And now we're just gonna tilt the engine forward and see what happens. Oh, geez, this is what I don't like. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. See, it needed to be a lot more agile. That's why I actually um, put in the... Um, 
whatchamacallit. The, that's why I need to do adjust the um, the angle of the of the ailerons and elevators because it needed to be a lot more agile. But it actually flies pretty decent, I think. Now it would be helpful to have some yaw here, but uh, that's fine. I think we're actually, we might be starting to stall, I don't know. Uh, let me just put the engine speed up higher. I think there's probably a maximum that it reaches, but I don't know what that maximum is, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna hit four here. See, we're already at the other side of the map, and that's why, and I, and my, I'm just still not agile enough. The thing is that the angle of the, of the ailerons and stuff, I think is like, uh, what was it, like 65? I think it's 65 degrees. Um, so yeah, I was playing around with that this morning, and um, and yeah, it just it's just not. But uh, anyway, we're it looks like we're going to crash into this uh, this race course here. Uh, which let me just put the engines up. Let's see if I can try that. I probably should have done that forever ago, but whatever. Is the engines actually like tilting up? Oh yeah, they did. Okay. All right, let me just. Uh, Let me just hit four and turn them off. I'll hit three to extend the landing gear. It doesn't fully work. Okay. Usually when you spawn it in, the tail actually fully opens, but uh, not once you. Uh, yeah. But uh, if I hit nine, it completely resets both of those. So now you can see the speed's at zero, and the uh, things snap back to their original position. Uh, now the only thing with this is I'm gonna try to take off again. I'm just gonna try to like even these out. I could put these on like gyros or something, but then the only thing, the only thing with that would be it would always be facing straight up. Uh, so let's hit four, five, increase the engine speed to come on thirty-two hundred. Okay, we're pretty even. Put the landing gear in. Let's just try this like a VTOL for now. Actually, the only thing is, it doesn't have any steering when it's in VTOL mode. So I wonder if I should make it like... I don't know. Future experiments, I wonder if I should make it like where you put it into VTOL mode and out of VTOL mode. Where, like this would be very complicated number logic, but what if I could take it in and out of VTOL mode? Um, where in VTOL mode I could adjust the uh, the rotor speed, but out of VTOL mode I could not. Um, and they would have a set speed for when it's out of VTOL mode, and for and then when it's in VTOL mode I can adjust it. So I don't know future experiments, but uh, for right now we're kind of just flying along VTOL mode. And then in VTOL mode it would have steering as well, because currently it does not have steering in uh, in VTOL mode. It doesn't have steering. It, so I, I I can't I can't really do anything right now except just let it fly forward and backwards. Let me just uh, hit six here and bring it down to three thousand. Now we're at that neutral hover speed. And we're at a neutral hover speed because three thousand is the neutral hover speed. And uh, it looks like we're going to crash into a wall if we don't do anything, so I'm just going to try to uh, break here. I'm going to try to bring it down. I think I'm fairly decent at controlling the VTOL. Like this. Come on, slow down. We're gonna give it some negative buoyancy. Alright, did you do that? Okay, good. Okay. Six and a half hours later. Like, what if I up the thing to 3000? Like, we'll probably still go down. Very slowly. I hit three for the landing gear. Didn't fully work, but whatever. And then another thing is, I do not have pitch and roll controls when I am in VTOL mode. So all the pitch and whatever, that 
we're in our neutral hover, so let's put it down back to 2800. And we will slowly lower down. This, look at this. This is so majestic. Just in a slow negative hover. Just going down. Look at this. And then another thing is, what if I could make these like gimbals? Or the, or their gimbal propellers? That would be kind of cool as well. Look at this! Yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Look at that! And then if I just decrease the engine speed, we should set. I mean, in theory, also the uh, the the door would be open. Perfect, zero speed, and then we just hit nine to reset the things, and there we go. We are ready for takeoff again. All right. Well, I think this is probably going to be it for this video. So I think the reduced drag block probably helps with the flight. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I'm just going to save this one. And, uh, and I'll probably put this on the workshop so you guys can mess with it if you want. Um, so I'll just call it Electron and save, save, perfect. Uh, so yeah, I think that's really going to be it for this video. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and to subscribe and do everything you can to make this channel the most popular on YouTube. And please be sure to hit that bell for notifications to know when the latest and most amazing from Electric X comes out. And I will see you all in the next video. I nailed that outro. Pretty much first try. Let's go. Goodbye.